everywhere I look now, I see it. And that's important, especially for a city like this that, you know, you know, you got Disney, you know, that's that's a big art, you know, thing right there. Even though people might just look at it as, you know, it's Mickey Mouse. That all started with a guy drawing in his, you know, in his garage. Young, you know, I, I always, you know, did the the markers. I, every time, every time, like back to school, I knew I can get a fresh set of markers, so that was exciting. Since then, man, I've always loved art. There hasn't been not one time, but I never, I was always shy about showing it. I started off actually painting sneakers. I was a sneaker customizer. I started getting, you know, offers, other, you know, for jobs, you know, and. I work for the United States Army doing internet security, IT security and stuff like that. So so I put all that stuff to the back and I didn't pick it up until, you know, until my wife told me that we were having kids and I needed a stress reliever. Yeah, what I do is that I find a, I find a picture that has a little bit of a mix of, you know, of course, motion and sort of like like I said, I like comic books so much. So it, I try to find motion and I try to find something that kind of looks surreal. Like for instance, when you look at this piece, once I start filling it in, it kind of looks like he's floating. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like he has some kind of mutant power. It looks like he's about to do something. And that's the kind of way that people kind of look at these athletes as if they're, you know, gods, as if, as if they're, you know, not human. So I try to look for a picture that, that displays all of that and and also has some sort of vulnerability as well. My first show was in Orlando. You know, it was the Orlando show. And it just, it was, it was great. It was, it was a great experience. It, you know, I felt loved, you know, and it, that brought me a lot of confidence. My son watches every move that I make and everything that I do is for my son, you know, and hopefully you know one day he'll see that i have a good paying job right now but it doesn't make me happy what makes me happy is the fact that when i get off of work i can actually go do something that i want to do outside of my son you know there's there's a lot of kids out there that that just need inspiration and like my man said you know he didn't he didn't think that, you know, being young and black and being an artist could, you know, kind of pay bills. It can, and it has, you know, like I can pay bills off of this alone if I dedicated eight hours of my day to it, similar to any job. So I want to, you know, every time I have a show and there's a lot of people that ask me, you know, well, how long have you been painting? And they think that I've, you know, that I've, I'm a classically trained artist with, you know, I studied in Italy and stuff. And no, man, I, I, I got on YouTube, you know. <laughs> I've spent thousands of dollars on, on paint and stuff that I, you know, that I used one time and got discouraged, you know. I failed, I, I spent thousands of dollars on paper so it's not like, it's not like, you know, you gotta see it for what it is. But the thing is, is that if, you know, it's difficult when you're painting, you know, when you're forging your own way and when you're painting your own, when you're painting your own picture. But, you know, I was in Baltimore and I saw this kid, there's this kid, he, he was in trouble a lot. My friend deals with a lot of the troubled teens. And he literally, saw what I was doing and never tried to draw or anything and went went back to their little group home and drew me a picture and I didn't make too much money you know I didn't make too much money on at this at this festival that I was working 
But the fact that he did that, and my friend, and I showed my friend, he didn't even tell my friend that he did it. He can't. He came back by himself with his with his other friends during that, you know, that evening. Mm -hmm. And it was like, yo, man, I drew this. I drew this. I asked him if I could keep it. And not only did I ask him if I could keep, I paid him for it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, see, you can do this. And he was sitting up there. He just kind of looked at me. I don't know if he believed me. But I believe him. I believe he can do anything he wants to do, you know, and just because, you know, he might have, you know, attitude problems right now and stuff like that. That doesn't define you, man. You know how many people get second chances, third chances, fourth chances? You don't have that option when you're a person of color, you know, as far as my opinion goes. I don't think you do. I think you have less chances and less people want to deal with you. But. He could do anything he wants to do, man. And the fact that he saw me and he listened to me talk just that, you know, in that just that little bit of time, you know, I could have been a guy that he didn't care about. You know, oh, man, this guy don't care about me, man. He's here to make money. You're right, I am here to make money. But at the same time, um, you know, it's all about the people you meet. But you know, you do have those artists that are out there strictly to make money. Mm -hmm. And they do make money. But as far as I'm concerned, you are who you help. Mm 